Welcome back to another Krita tutorial. I'm glad you've stuck with me so far, or if this is your first time watching, welcome. I, this video is going to be very short and simple, and we're going to be going over the Task Sets Docker. So if you haven't messed with it or you want to learn more about it, here we are. As you, if you are, if you're new, all of your dockers are under Settings. Dockers, and that's where everything is. If you've been here before, you already know that. So when you go to the task sets in Krita, it kind of, it's just an empty box here. It's almost like the undo history in terms of how it presents itself, but it's not. It only works with the shortcuts in Krita, so whatever strokes you're going to make, it's not going to record that or acknowledge it. That's just not what it's going to do. And in order to activate it, we want to hit the record button. So let's say I'm just going to make some nice strokes here. Nothing is happening yet. But if I hit the shortcut E, now it um, has recorded that here in the set, which is set eraser mode. So now I can erase that. So I'm just going to erase. And I'm going to hit E again to go back to my brush setting or to go back to use my brush. It's not going to work with right clicking. Uh, I can hit Control Z and it saves the undo. Or I can hit Control Shift D for the redo. And there's uh, tons of other shortcuts as well. Eyedropper does not work. I don't think that would be a shortcut. So that's what it does. And then to obviously stop recording, you can hit this little button again. And it can delete everything with this delete button. I just deleted the whole set. Great. Record this again. And then undo, redo. So I can um, load task sets. It's just kind of like um, saving a, a number of actions to repeat in your file. So if you have a string of actions you need to repeat for like a special um, filter or effect or, or something like that, you can save this. So I can go back and I can do, oops, I can click once and get the eraser mode. You can do the undo. Oh, there it is. I'm doing redo, sorry. You undo, I can do redo. And it's kind of, it's neat. So, I, you know, do have to use the hotkey repeatedly. And I can, as you can see, I can save it. And that's really all the task sets do. Um, so have you know, play with it, play around with this. Use as many shortcuts as you want to put this in here. Uh, it's especially helpful if you're using a new one that you're not familiar with yet, and you don't want to keep like going, oh my god, it's Control whatever, or it's this key. It'll always be here in your task set. So if you frequent that shortcut or that feature, it will always be there for you. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and then if you're switching between tools, um, that's going to work. So if you hit B, that's going to be the, the brush tool. So I can hit that as many times as I want. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it for the task set uh, docker. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video and hope that you got some use out of this. Thanks. Bye.